Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Sam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to the Lovely Lab. All right, today I'm popping on to share with you a quick little medium comparison. Now, when I say medium, I mean you know how there are quite a few products that you can use in mixed media. And a few of them are the gesso, you've got matte medium, you've got um, modeling paste, texture paste, and so on and so forth. But for those of you who are just getting started and would like to begin to incorporate some of these things into your crafts and your projects, um, I found it helpful as I was experimenting um, to purchase smaller bottles of items versus the larger sizes, just so I could familiar my familiarize myself with um, the consistency, the texture, the color, and the coverage. So um, I've got four products that I'm going to share with you um, here in the comparison and we'll do a little demo so you can get an idea of how you how it will look in your projects whether or not it's something that you may want to use and also you get an idea if you can use other things with it such as inks um, you know glitters um, sand and so on and so forth there is a, another world out there once you add uh, the different wet mediums into your crafting alright so um, what I am going to compare are the acrylic gesso. This is by Master's Touch. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. Now it was originally $7.99 but it was on sale for 50% off so there was no sign up so keep an eye out for these type of things in the worst case scenario go up to that counter with a 40% off coupon via the app. Now here I have the Artist Loft and this is the acrylic modeling paste and it says academic level one. I believe I purchased this from Walmart on walmart.com and I know that I got this might have been Walmart might be scrapbook.com or Joann's or something something like that I'm not sure uh, but as you can see you know you can google that the simply acrylic matte medium I did purchase that by Daler and Roney from walmart.com and then the last is our handy dandy this is Josh's old baby bottle homemade gesso now I don't have the recipe for this if I can locate the one that I followed from the YouTube video um, I will drop it down in the description but if you don't see it down below don't worry you can always you know search for it in the YouTube search box and um, it'll be the recipe that contains baby powder um, school glue Elmer's glue or what have you and white paint alright so I'm just going to take um, a thick, not thick, a stiff brushel, brus, bristled brush and we will start here. I'm not going to be here all day um, because I, got, I'm, I would like to actually craft but I wanted to get this out to you because as I learn I like to share the wealth. So let's start off with the acrylic gesso. Alright, we're going to use a little bit of that now let me bring it down and hopefully the zoom or the what do you call it the um, the focus will won't won't act up on me today okay so as you can see the consistency with the acrylic gesso it's it's not as thick as a paste but it's not as thin as paint so that is one coat of the acrylic gesso okay I'm gonna clean my brush I should have wiped that off first I'm gonna clean my brush and we'll do the homemade gesso now I've already, I'm gonna stir this around and pour just a little little bit out just a little bit so you can see the consistency of this now that's a little looser than the acrylic gesso and again that has a uh, baby powder um, I don't know the parts so you have to work you know kinda improvise 
but baby powder, glue, and white acrylic paint. Okay. I'm going to try and dry my brush. I don't want it to be too wet. I want you to get a, a good idea of how, what the coverage is like. Oops, let me clean that back off. All right, so we're going to use the homemade gesso. All right. Clean the brush. Let me wipe some of that off so you can so I can go on to the next runner up. Which is the Let's go on to the matte medium. Okay. Now, as you can see, the matte medium has a little bit, more, it's a little bit thicker. It's thicker than the, the, the gesso. Um, it's not, uh, it's not quite as thick as a paste, but it's thicker than the gesso. So depending on what you're using it on, wood or paper is going to determine whether or not this is good. And because it's acrylic, that means that it, it offers a sealant, a little bit of a protection, protective coat between whatever you're putting it on and the surface. Um, some of an acrylic, I believe, means, uh, what is it? Um, it protects it from water. Now, it doesn't mean that it's water resistant. It just means that, you know, if it gets a little damp, little splash here and there isn't, isn't going to completely destroy your project. All right, and now let's move on to the texture paste. The texture paste is like a paste. Now I'm also going to turn on my um, heat gun so we can dry these so you can get an idea of what these look like. Now, look at the texture paste. I used a very little bit amount of that, and that's the matte medium. It's already drying clear. This is the homemade gesso. It's drying, and then this is the acrylic gesso. So I'm going to go ahead and take the um, heat emboss gun and dry these at least for 30 seconds or so. All right, so 30 seconds. The texture paste is relatively dry. The matte medium, it's dry. Now, obviously, it's a little thicker in some places than others. Um, the homemade gesso is dry. And aside from the places where it's a little thicker, the acrylic gesso is dry. So as you can see, if we're comparing with the texture paste, that gives you the ability to um, stencil, build up, stamp, and, and put impressions in it. It just depends on how thick it is. Now, I do believe that there are different um, um, textures to the modeling paste. So that's another thing that you want to um, take note of. But all in all, if you're looking to seal something, the acrylic matte medium will do the trick. If you are on a budget, you can always make your own gesso. And the purpose of the gesso is to create a sealant between the item that you're, the cardboard or paper that's underneath and what's on top. So that allows you to put paints and watercolors and inks on top without it soaking through and saturating the paper. And then the same goes for the acrylic gesso. Um, now the acrylic gesso, as you can see, is offers more coverage than the acrylic matte medium as well as the homemade gesso. So with two coats of that, we probably would be, would be able to see less of the blue. Now uh, this morning I well, I was going through the junk mail, received um, this postcard uh, from one of the credit card companies and used the acrylic gesso, gesso put a couple of paint, uh, lay, uh, couple of layers of that on here. And you can very, it's very hard to see the wording on here. You can see it still, but it's not that easy. 
um, and I plan to use this as a tag in one of the journaling pockets that I recently did on camera. So anyways, I brought these on to share with you and show you, um, give you some ideas of what different mediums were available. Um, the prices range, everything on my desk is under $10. And obviously this is free because it was all stuff I had here at home with the baby powder and the glue. Um, but that being said, I hope this has helped you all figure out, you know, if these are items that you can use in your crafting and in your projects. And if so, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the crafty uploads few hauls here and there, um, the DIYs, as well as the demos and reviews and comparisons, all right? And so as I learn and grow, I plan to share with you and I have no problem doing so. If there's anything that you guys are interested in seeing or comparis a comparison on, drop it down in the comments below and I'll be happy to see what I can do, all right? And so until we're back here together on YouTube, guys, stay encouraged, stay blessed, and stay creative and crafting, and don't forget to wear your masks and to wash your hands. Check on a neighbor and on your elderly. All right, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye for now. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads. Thank you so much for watching. Now stay tuned for more from Libby's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel. Bye for now.